yo hello guys welcome once again to forex success okay this is a very quick video on how you can trade crash and boom with this powerful strategy yeah so as you can see i placed a sell because the condition is meant for me to catch a spike using this strategy like i told you guys this strategy is very powerful and it works it work of course you will see that on this video live and direct of course yes so you see the positions i took crash 1000 in this a place to say why because the condition is meant look at it the red moving average has crossed above the green at the overbought level as you can see so i'm waiting for it to spike guys please watch this video from the beginning to end so that you learn perfectly how what i put in consideration before i place a trade and as you can see at the top level you can see the a, a resistant level which we also apply as force to push to resist the market from crossing that resistant level so the market is expected to to push th this um resistant level is expected to push the market down which will result to a spike of course it will result to a spike and that is the opportunity we want to take right now to catch the spike and seeing that the one minute time frame um strategy is giving us a sell signal so guys considering okay, let me add more position considering the fact that the 15 minute time frame is showing us a resistant level the current market now is at this resistant level and the one minute strategy is giving us a sell which is the red moving average course above and you can see from the five minute time frame the market is currently at a resistant level which we all know before it can break through the good guys good guys you can see the spike with this powerful strategy crash and boom strategy you see the spike guys we just got the spike right now so these are things i always tell you to put in consideration if you check the five minute time frame target support and resistance level they play a vital role in this trading guys support and resistance level you can key, use it to your favor in catching spikes i'll make a video of how support and resistance level affect spikes yeah i'll do that very soon guys okay so you can see we got the spike with this powerful strategy guys this strategy is good i'll show you how you can set your indicators for those of you that don't know how to but guys this strategy is the killer strategy for crash and boom it's a spike catching strategy as you can see you can see the up and down movement of the market so i'm expecting i'm gonna hold this trade for the market to come down probably to this level of course i'll hold on for it so yeah analyzing it i'm holding on for it to cross that and seeing from the five minute time frame the red moving average cost above even the 15 minute time frame the red moving average cost above the black so i'm expecting the sell so these are the indicators you use for the strategy just the commodity china index moving average and the market facilitation index so for the commodity china index the period 14 apply to typical price levels negative 100 and 100 star is green use the color green okay you can take a screenshot right now so that you can set it later for yourself good the levels negative 100 and positive 100 use the color of your screen yeah so two pics there that's the properties for it then you click save and then you're done the next indicator which we'll be using you can see guys stick coming down the next indicator is the moving average which is period 10 you put it on shift zero method simple apply to close levels zero the star is red use color red for pixel you can see then you click done last indicator market facilitation in this of course the volume tick the mfi up green black black and green just as you see on my screen take a screenshot guys and start using the strategy this is the last indicator for this strategy guys once again make sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop new videos for you guys of course okay give this video a thumbs up please please give it a thumbs up and drop good comments please don't drop bad comments we don't need that here okay this is forest success and if you don't know what we are trading we're trading on deriv the link is at the description below to open an account it's only deriv that offers synthetic indices of course that's it guys so this is crash and boom strategy to make money guys please support and resistance level it affects the market to the direction of the spike yes it does look at this single this um face just look at this face 
this area you can see the market moved to the upside it comes down again at a support or resistance level look at the support level the support level is the downside of the market as you can see the support level uh, is a, a point where a market reached a level at the downside that the market reached then pull back and again the market come down again to that same level and then pull back that is noted as a support level you can see the support level right here you can see the support level right here the market came down went up came down the same levels went up so as since you're trading crash you're targeting you're targeting um the resistant level because it will be pushing the market down for crash to the direction of your spike thereby catching spike will be made easy addition to the strategy guys this is the keynote i'm showing you use it wisely guys okay let's check out boom 500 in this boom 500 in this um okay i'm trying to see if we can get an entry no entry boom 1000 but 1000 is still on the downtrend it's on the downtrend yeah and as you can see from here the downtrend is massive guys so when you see this kind of downtrend you can simply avoid the market you can see but it crossed it crossed um below the red moving average crossed below it you get a spike so this kind of market guys i advise you to avoid it why why it will spike but the spike might not worth it yeah can see it's on the downtrend so the only point you should be expecting this spike is at this resistant level this junction guys that's where you should be expecting the force to push it backwards so even if you get a spike it will be small one like a baby spike you can see these small spikes it might be like that so that won't really worth it so you can avoid such market but guys it's gonna spike it's gonna spike the conditions are met here like i said red moving average to cross below the green moving um the green line will give you a spike for boom but for but for crash, when the red moving average cross above the green line, you get a spike for crash. This is crash 500 in this. It is on the market is on consolidation, and this is also a very good time to use the strategy. Of course, it's a very good time. This is one minute time frame. The, the zoom level for this strategy is the third zoom level. Use the third zoom level for this strategy. Yeah, the third zoom level. Please, third zoom level, 10 minute time frame, one minute time frame for the strategy. You can check out for support and resistance level at the 5 and 15 minute time frame. Of course, at the 5 and 15 minute time frame using this strategy. Guys, once again, subscribe to Forex Success. Drop good comments. Guys, we got another spike. Like I said, I told you it's going to keep on selling. Look at it. Look at it. I told you the black bar indicates another spike. And then we got another spike. You can see five minute time frame. I told you it's going to sell down to this point. Yeah, it's going to sell down to this point and it's still selling. Look at it for 15 minute time frame. It's going to sell down to this point where we'll be taking profit with this strategy. So that's why the one minute time frame with the strategy give you a perfect entry. Why? the 15 minute time frame and five minute time frame will let you know how long that the trade or the movement might last so that you will know when and how to take profit using the strategy please guys please follow the strategy there is no magic in it follow it and you get the results if you start if you keep on doing the same thing you would do before you'll be getting same results